so here's the thing if you're seeing this it is not by coincidence right you're growing up you want to know something you want to learn a bit more i'm here to tell you the truth about growing up right today was my birthday i turned 22 years old and here's a lot of stuff i've learned and you're going to want to hear it so this piece i'm doing now is called the book of a job right if you've read the story in the bible it's about a man who pretty much had everything going in his life he had every single thing moving for him you know he was really up to date with God God looked at him like his not his son but a person who was really high up there you know like they really linked and he really followed what God said so one of the biggest things was him actually losing everything because what happened with Job is that he had every single thing and the devil came to God and he's like all right cool I'm going to take this guy and I want to take every single thing away from him. I want to really make him go through the mill and let's see if he really, 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 truly has faith in you. Because right now you have everything, right? When you lose everything, it's a bit different. So let me take everything away from him. Let me, let me play with this guy, right? So God was like, okay, cool, go ahead. I have faith in my, my child, of course. And the devil comes in and he absolutely wrecks Job. Like, dude, like he takes every single thing away from him. His family dies, his wife, his kids, he loses his, all his property, all his wealth. He really starts going through it, you know, like absolutely everything starts happening to this guy. And the biggest thing now is how he actually gets back from that, how he bounces back. And the biggest thing in the Bible is his account of it, you know, it's very realistic, it's very human. A lot of times we watch or we listen to the Bible or stuff about the Bible and people think that oh, everyone in there is perfect, everything has, everything has substance because the people that are there know what's going on. But that's not the case, you know, a lot of times uh, situations go wrong and we feel that we are not human if we can't really take it on. You know, we feel like we have to go into this other robotic stage. But in Job's case, he really understood that he had to have faith. That book really, really gets to me when I read it because he really and truly is telling God that I have lost every single thing, bro. I I have nothing, right? You've taken everything away from me. And why, right? Why have you done this when I have been such a faithful servant? I've served you, I've done such amazing things for you, but you're taking it away from me. Like, why would you do that? And the whole book is very, very, very intricate and very soulful, right? He doesn't hide anything. He doesn't hide anything from God. The way he speaks to God, right, is very truthful. He doesn't hide anything like, oh, maybe he tells him like, dude, this is horrible, like why? And a lot of times people think that their prayers, I would feel, be really strict and one, two, three, bullet point, I wrote this down, so I need this done, I need this, I need help with this. But the truth is that a lot of times when you really speak to God, it's always gonna be from that place of authenticity. You know, it's very authentic, it's very out there, it's very, here's my situation, right? And then, I don't know, you know, getting mad at God is a different thing. It's a different feeling in my view. But in Job's case, he really speaks his mind. And that is why God at the end of it is like, oh, you faithful servant, you really, you've, 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 you've gone through the test. He eventually gets everything back, right? Cool. But that descent into darkness is the biggest thing. And I find that interesting with life is that when you don't have a lot, you know, when you're still a uni student, you're still working things out. You're trying to figure out ways to move your life up. You know, you kind of learn how to really maneuver around the world. I think a lot of people watching this, you're in different situations, you know, a lot of things. I'll speak on my behalf because obviously I'm 22 now. Uh, Taylor Swift, 22 era. Yeah, yeah. Um, I listen to Taylor Swift. Is it, it's okay to listen to Taylor Swift. I don't know why people look at me like, oh, that's weird. Anyways, Taylor Swift era. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's like... It, it is like a journey man it is like a journey you feel me it's like it's a very interesting journey i've gone through so far i do remember times when things did not look too good i remember school was a bit of a hard one man i was not too i think you've watched my other videos i always speak about me not being great at school it is one of those bigger things in my life because for me school is like the biggest thing to get out of zimbabwe you have to really understand that school is a big thing you know never look at school like oh gosh school man Oh, universe, no ways. You know, some people to each their own feel that it's not worth it, not worth their time. There are other ways of doing stuff. For me, I've really appreciated the journey through that, you know, that faction of university, that, that faction of learning, because 
it's taught me a lot of different things, you know. Work hard, be consistent, be disciplined, show up all the time when you can't, even when you're seeing flames. Be that person that is really there. Um, as I was saying, not too good at school, high school was a bit of a struggle, got through it eventually, God uh, released me from that stage in my life, which was fantastic. I remember leaving high school and I got the highest mark in the world for Cambridge Design Technology. I always say that not to brag, but just to show you that I really was whack at school. And a blessing like that really shows that anything is possible. And I always try to take that into my life. But moving forward from that, you know, experiences is a big thing when you, when you have a lot of friends, when you have a lot of people around you, um, it's different. I found that I have not really been with, uh, been in groups of loads and loads of people because I like my space. You know, you find that your space becomes a very holy and very sacred place for you to be in. You know, you can't always just want so many different factors, so many people here, there. It's like, no, you, sometimes you really just need to relax in your own space. But at the same time, when you are with people, enjoy the experiences, you know. Um, I say this now from a position of before a lot of stuff happens, a lot of different events happen. I can imagine me now being able to do a lot of different stuff I wouldn't have been able to do before, you know, because obviously the world opened up, it will open up eventually when the money comes and whatever, you know, you know the speaking of it, you know, it will all come in due time and I know it will come, I am very positive it will. But speaking from now, you know, before those experiences like the yachts and the Oh, the trips and the amazing things. Getting down to understand that the, the journey has been very nice in the sense that I've learned to appreciate other people's presence. You know, understanding that a lot of people have different integral parts of their life which may not fix to what you're doing, but they, but in that fact, it actually adds flavor to your life. You know, it adds a bit of, a bit of mystery, a bit of, oh wow, that's nice. Not toxic flavor. Stay away from toxicity, trust me, it's not worth it. That's another thing. Toxic people, man. Toxic places in life, you do not need at all. You don't need it. Stay away from that, keep positive. Um, having said that, it's been very interesting seeing both sides, seeing very toxic nature, seeing very peaceful nature, very peaceful people. And that is all very, very, very intricate. It's very special. You know, up until this point, I have grown in the gym. I, I, and it's funny enough, I've put this at the last like few minutes of the video, is that I'm speaking about the gym because the gym was, so far has been the biggest point in my life, biggest turning point. Like, dude, I'm like, this is me, bro. This is my personality, bro. This is me, this is everything. You know, the gains, the 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 hype, you know, the gym, the, the heavy music, the pumping music, pumping iron, push up, pull ups. I'm like, yeah. This has always remained a big part of my life, but as I've grown up, I'm finding a lot of different things open up besides the gym. A lot of different people and careers and ventures are outside the gym, you know. My creativity now, like you're seeing, like I've, I've never thought I would put obviously my art out, artwork like this and show you the process, but it is the biggest part of what's been going on right now. And it's a really good place for me to express myself, especially with work like this. If there's ever a fingerprint of me, like my fingerprint is on this art because I, ha I hold it to such high value, you know? Like if you have this piece of art, this exact piece of art, which is for sale on my Etsy store, so make sure you click the link in the description, make sure you get it. It is a fingerprint, you know, it's so unique and I really hold it to high value, whoever has it, well done. Um, this is just such an amazing piece. I feel that you need it because it's, it's, this is me, man. This is, this is me on paper, so. Really, up until this point, I've enjoyed every single day of my life. I, I appreciate God for giving me different challenges. Right now, I will be facing a challenge right now. You may not even see it. I may not tell you what I'm facing, but I shall have a smile on my face every single day of the day. And every single day of the day. And I shall enjoy it, as you should. As you should enjoy every small bit of your life. Keep on smiling in some situations, but you don't look so good, man. I've, I've been... In situations where it's like oh my word why are you smiling it's it is what it is man enjoy your life before everything comes into your plate everything you want will come to you and when it does come to you how are you gonna handle it right I'm I'm gonna look at this video when everything does come when everything's there um, I'm not saying it's not there already but there's some things you know like the Mustangs the Ferraris 
the yachts. It's a nice hotel. So, oh gosh, the the that's materialistic stuff. But anyways, it's it's there. When it does come, the persona changes. Well, it shouldn't change, but then your thinking kind of moves a bit different, and things open up. My biggest piece of advice is really pray to God and try and understand what your calling is. I still don't know. I know my calling, but move in a positive direction. As long as you're moving forward, you're okay, right? Sometimes you may not know why, when, and how, and what is going on, and will this factor improve? You know, just move forward. That's my biggest piece of advice doing this video, and I hope that anyone watching this really sees it and understands that everything you're gonna get in your life is gonna be amazing. Make sure you get that painting. That not the painting. Make sure you get that ink drawing, man, because it's gonna go once it's gone, it's the original. I'm gonna do some prints for you guys so everyone can have a bit of it. Put it up on your wall nicely. A2, fantastic piece. Have a sick day, guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate everyone that's been up with me up until this day. Big day, birthday. Um, have a fantastic day, guys. It's been a amazing 22. I'm feeling 22. Yeah, I actually throw that in because I'll get copyrighted if I actually, you know, you know how YouTube works. Have a sick day. Make sure you get the actual piece of art before it goes. Once it's gone, I don't know, man. Have a sick day. Appreciate all of you guys up to this point that have been with me, have been on the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Nothing else to say. It's Madstroke 22. Lego. Ooh. Oh, gosh.